this is H.J. Bailey. I'm J.B. And welcome back to Let's Play Sick in the Tetsu 3! Since last time, we made it back to the Oasis Village Dean because we are going to be going to the Valley of Flames again. This time to take on the Fire God Beast. So, let's fly a little closer. Since last time, I rested up at the end until it's Undine's Day because, well, it's a fire area. What do you think the enemies are going to be weak to? So, just ignore these guys. They're not worth it. If I can actually walk. There we go. I keep on thinking I'm Hawk. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I get for switching characters. But now that I'm, I got the buffs, I want to be controlling Lee's. And I forget. If, yeah, these guys have leveled up. Okay, so what I want to do here... We got Mega Splash! So let's use that on the Duck General so they are weak to ICE! Do not use spells on the ninjas or the knights here. They will kill you. Or any full screen text on them either. Yeah, more ninjas. Maybe kill the ninja first and then I can use a multi-targeting spell on them. Yeah, level one text, you're safe. I don't care about shurikens. I think we got them. Okay, Angela, get back on screen. There you go. Angela, let me get into your freaking menu. There we go. Now we got two of them. Let's go with screw attack. There we go. Yeah, we're... Yeah, actually, we're about appropriately leveled. I was about to say over leveled, but... No, nah, actually, we're, we're just about right. So, yeah, remember last time we couldn't get through here? Well, now we can. This actually isn't a bad area to do some level grinding in if you really wanted to. Because you can just... Well, I'll show you in a moment. Oh, oh I can't get to my men. Well, kill the healer first, if we can. They usually have pretty low HP. Until later in the game. But we'll get to that soon enough, Fuse. Not on this path, I don't think. I don't think we run into that variety. Okay. Yeah, those got uh, well, fire drakes. They're obviously weak to ice as well, so wouldn't worry about them. Well, I mean, just use that. But yeah. Now, what I was saying about the level grinding, you, if you walked the path we did, you go up here. You can walk to the left again, and you'll you can it'll lead you in a circle. So you could just do that over and over and over again. Level grind. You can use the golden goddess statue that we used the first time we came here. I'm not gonna do that. But, you can if you want. Set your... or wait a minute, no, I'm not gonna set them on fire. Uh, freeze! Sorry, I was accessing the wrong databanks in my memory. I saw the fire in the background and it made me think of Demolition Man for some reason. Is it cold in here or is it just me? I'm not even going to bother trying to do an impression. Yeah. Tried to do an impression of Raul Julia the other day, and yeah, that didn't go over well. Oh, well. Ah, oh, nuts. Now we got a split branching path here, a split path. Whoa, is that just a delayed reaction from the shuriken? It's just like, I threw eight shurikens. Where'd the ninth one go to? Ah, oh, there it is. Like, what? Okay, but anyway, you can take either path, doesn't matter. Not gonna bother worrying about dead ends this time around. Yay. I could use shade on the Dark Priest there. Kinda odd that someone with dark in their name would be weak to shade, but, well, there you go. Lenny, down. Lenny, no, down. There you go. Oh yeah, we used one of those. Or I used one of those while I was level grinding. Yeah, the Gemstone Valley Dorian. Pretty dangerous. See, I think there's a third one of these ducks down here. Yes. I memorized how many enemies I will fight on every screen. Uh-oh, that one up top's probably not going to get hit. Oh, well, okay. Thought it was getting out of my sight radius. Or spell radius. Whatever. Uh-oh, pumpkin bomb. 
You were asking if that was AOE. There's your answer. I meant the item that we get. That's the same thing. Ah. It's the exact same thing as the spell that they use. So. Just don't get the instant death and we'll be fine. I don't care about the falling rocks. Ooh, an item seed. Let's use that. And someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, when are you going to store away that flute that you're never going to use again with the... With the... Uh, yeah, the flute. Well, there's your answer. I stored it away. Play nice, kitties. Yeah, they're, they got a bug up their butt today. More than usual. Oh, well. I think there's a ninja down here? Yes. I'm psychic! That, or the fact that there's only five enemies around, five different enemies around here, and, well, there's only so many that I could possibly guess. Yep. But yeah, watch out for, there are all, there's also some knights, or sword masters, or whatever they're called around here. Uh, don't use magic on them, either. Okay, uh, I think we need to heal up here, so let me take a moment to do that, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're all healed up and ready to go. For boss time! Kick-ass music! Okay, uh, actually, hold on. First things first. Let's go... I've got mine up. Trust me. Just take my word for it. There's so much action going on at once. Use Thunder Jitsu first. There's so much action at once, I can't see the target at the menu. You got it. Right there. Yeah, you can't see the targeting hand because... There's so much going on, you got Sprite Flicker going on here. Uh. But anyway, for this battle, there's two parts to it. Uh, first things first, let's buff up. Uh, Angela. Now, once you've got Mind Up on everyone you care about, then what you want to do is you want to use Water Jutsu. Uh, I guess you're only targeting the one. It's kind of hard to tell who you're targeting. We'll find out today. Well, you gotta put more spirit into it. We'll find out today! <laughs> but anyway, okay, now that we've gotten that... Oh, right, uh, keep on using water jitsu on it. But yeah, you want to take out the furnace up top there first, because from what I heard, I thought the boss, or the god beast, will, like, go into it eventually and regenerate some HP or something like that. So... Get mined up on everyone. He he might use I don't know, does he use fire jitsu? I don't think he does. He might. But anyway. Yeah, just keep on going all out. Once I get all my buffs up, then I will uh, have Angela join in on the spell casting. It's kinda hard to get to chain three spells together. Okay, now we can go all out. Yeah, just do that. Angela, why don't you join in on the fun? I hope we have enough MP. There we go. This boss fight is a lot easier with human controlled characters. Yep. Because then I don't have to worry about my AI controlled characters targeting the actual boss itself. I don't want the boss to do that yet. So just keep on targeting the same enemy over and over and over again so you don't accidentally target the boss. You want to go after the furnace. For, even though they're both called Zan B, or however you pronounce it. What language is that, anyway? It's gotta have some sort of language of origin. No. I don't know. They do got weird names. But cool names. And awesome boss music. So that's hard to be. Uh, let's see. Defense down. I don't care about. I don't know if any of the god beasts have physical attacks. They mostly stick to their spells. Another nice thing about <clears throat> having magic is you don't have to worry about the boss flying everywhere and getting out of your the reach of your melee, which you usually have to do up to this point. So that does make a lot of the god beast fights a lot easier. I still kind of prefer using the elemental sabers like we did in the first round, first LP. I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, I like melee a lot more. 
Yeah, I mean, it's just, yeah. Although magic does have applications for random encounters, like beyond the boss fights, whereas magic is, whereas sabers are really limited to boss fights for the most part. I might want to heal you up. Yeah. Yeah, sabers can be somewhat useful. Like when you, if you were in the Gemstone Valley, Dorian, you could have used they use that those slimes use that power down effect. You could use like a uh, flame saber to what is it? You could use flame saber to sort of counter the power down effect. Yeah, I don't remember the furnace being having that much HP. It is Undine's day, isn't it? It should still be Undine's day. Find out. How much water does it take to put out the furnace? Sure is a lot of water. We are in a volcano-ish area. There we go! Got it! Okay, now for the God Beast himself. Use a Thunder Jutsu on him. You, so I can deal a little more damage. Uh, we're doing okay on HP. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell which spell is which because of the sprite problems, but oh well. Unfortunately, well, it's pretty obvious, he absorbs fire. So you can't use fire jutsu to reduce his magic defense. So, oh well. Now, yeah, just keep on going with... Uh, or water jutsu. I hope this is not how I end up spending every boss. Well, not every boss. I, one thing that I've done with the way I've arranged the uh, the god beasts is I like to fight the ones with clear elemental weaknesses earlier because they're easier, and then once we get more levels, fight the higher level ones with some more melee because. Some of them are either just not going to have elemental weaknesses, or they can block magic and stuff like that, so... Yes, I can't get into Angel's menu. Another nice thing about... Oh, I was already saying that, but... Another nice thing about magic is, like, you see he splits up like that. We can still damage him, even though with melee... Why can't I ever get into your menu, Angela? It's like your menu is locked out of me something. Uh-oh, we're out of magic. I'll help you out there. Okay, I bet you the next spell is going to kill him. Oh, absolutely! That's the law of RPGs. But yeah, so the first few god beasts are going to be pretty simple for us because we're using... we're fighting the ones that actually have the elemental weaknesses that I can exploit. So that does make life a lot easier. Not that we really have that many options. I mean, how, how many different ways can you kill the God Beast? Oh, her MP... Huh. For some reason, her MP didn't reflect the cost of the last spell. Hmm. That's odd. But I can't access the spell because I don't have the MP for it. Ah, there it is. Yeah, for some reason it didn't quite uh, do that yet. Yeah, if you know another way of uh, taking out these God Beasts... Let me know, viewers. I mean, pretty much, there's pretty much two ways of dealing with them. Either elemental spells with buff. Uh, are you dead? Yeah, you're yeah. dead. Yeah, I mean, you either use elemental spells with buffs and debuffs on the right elemental day, or sabers. And if you don't do one of the two, then the boss will take a... Oh, oh that's weird. Yeah, if you don't do one of the two, then the boss will take forever to kill. Yeah. So, are you back in? Yep. Okay, good. So, uh, those are one of the two ways of dealing with bosses relatively quickly. I don't really see any other way of doing that. I mean, you gotta have something... I tried pure melee with buffs and debuffs, and nah, it's just too slow. I mean, these boss fights will take 
15, 20 minutes that way. It just takes way too long. Uh-oh. I think we're getting him close to death because I, he usually doesn't do this until he, we nearly kill them. Yeah, the Gat Beasts, they, uh, they got a lot of HP. And I could use some healing. Although we've probably almost killed the guy, but still. Whenever you're using melee on this guy, try to hit the center of him. Like when you see those clouds of ice or fire, whatever. Uh, her? The fire. Hit it with ice. Sorry, I was getting ahead of myself. My brain was thinking about the sentence that I was going to say without putting the whole sentence together. It, it deleted some words in the middle there, and that's why it comes out funny every now and then. Ah, man. Yeah, that's a weird looking boss. Man, the dungeon was quicker, but this guy's taken like twice as long as the last mm. dude. Yeah, it does seem to be taking a little longer on this guy. Hmm. I mean, I've got all the buffs. I, I think the reason why it's taking longer uh, compared to perhaps some of the other god beasts is because we don't ha we can't use a debuff on him. Hmm. The only way you could do that, and maybe I should have done this, but. Oh well, too late now. Uh, you could buy... What was that item called? Uh, I forget what it was. The, 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 you can buy it at the black market. It, it casts anti-magic and it removes... Uh, enemy... Uh, absorption properties. So, because you could use that on him, you could remove his fire absorption and then use fire jutsu on him. And he I think he'll still be immune to it, but he won't... Uh, he, you'll, you'll be able to debuff him. If a uh, boss ab absorbs an element, then the debuff won't go through. But, well, I guess you guys get a long episode today, viewers us casting magic on this guy and accessing our ring menus over and over and over again. <laughs> I just That's why I'm not even putting my thumb on the joystick. Yeah, I'm, just, just... I'm just using my two pointer fingers. Yeah, pretty... Whoa! Of course, I might want to heal every now and then. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Come on, then. Yeah, I suppose this is one of the reasons why magic can kind of get hosed. It takes a while to cast everything, so it does take a little while. Man, I could have saved this god beast fight for one whole episode. Oh, wow. Come on. Yeah! Final. Woohoo! Whew, that was a marathon! Yep. Holy cow. Well, at least it didn't take as long as Yasmat! But uh, I'll get to that one soon, viewers. I will be showing that fight. Not in this game, but another game. You are fortunate, brother. Have you ever had a boss fight in an MMO take more than an hour? I've had attempts last more than an hour. <laughs> Okay, well that's it for the Fire God Beast boss fight, and then we'll move on to the next God Beast. Next time on Let's Play Second Densetsu 3! I'm H.C. Bailey. And I'm JB. Signing off. Have a good day! <laughs>